What up peeps, Bones back here with a new bike video for you with some exciting mail. I got some exciting mail in today and it's not a GT, but it's something I ordered from another BMXer. Is that what you call someone that loves BMX, but I don't really ride anymore. BMX enthusiast. They decided to use a GT box, which is cool. It makes me curious what GT was in this box. But in my last video, I think it was the Predator video, I mentioned that when I was a teen, I had a Haro, and I always wanted to get another one, and I caught a good deal on BMX Museum that I had to grab. Um, mine was a Chrome Haro Sport. I don't know exactly what year, but it had to have been 80-something. So that's not what this is, but this is still cool. This is uh, this is something that a lot of people do. This is a newer model Haro. This is a Haro Zippo, which the Zippo and the Revo they made very similar to the Haro Master. And what a lot of people do, and I'm going to follow suit is you take one of these and I'm gonna have to uh, restore it, uh, give it a good sand down, paint it. I ordered some cool decals and a lot of people take these Zippos and Revos put the master decals on it and make it as a Haro Master tribute. It's a cheaper way of having Having like a master or even a sport because they're both those brands are hella high, the more sought after ones. But the Zippo and the Revo look a lot like them, so people will take these, fix them up, put the master decals, and rock that shit. So yeah, this is the frame. Like I said, it has dual top tube, like the Horror Master. The only difference is, I think, is this right here. The bottom tube is a lot thicker and wider than on the Master, which is whatever. I love this frame. It has. I can get it to show has the Haro logo cut out in the frame twice it's there and down there got the name in there but you can't see it in this dark light Yeah, this is my frame I just picked up. I'm excited to have it. It's got a couple of rust spots. Um, ugly paint job, so what I need to do is sand it down, clean it up, repaint it. And I got some decals that I ordered for it, and it's going to look pretty. I'm going to make it look nice. And stay tuned for clips of more clips to come through this video of progress and the unveiling at the end. 
And here's a better look at what the frame looked like. It had two layers of paint, yellow and black, and had a good amount of rust. So I took an SOS pad to it for the rust, and then my wife helped me out with uh, scratching off the two layers of paint. And uh, here's the raw frame. Then I took it outside and it was prime time, baby. A couple layers of primer. And I left it set for a couple days in between coats. And after the primer, I did a couple coats of black. On my frame, I had forks and handlebars. Here are some parts I ordered for the build. This is a great bundle deal I got off eBay. I was only after the crank arms, but I found this great deal for only like $28 or $30, something like that. The guy had the whole damn bottom part of the bike for one fair price. Most people will charge that for just one of these pieces. So I wasn't gonna pass on that. Got the whole bottom bracket here, the bearings, and parts of the screw together, a set of pedals, a sprocket. And like I said, I was only after the crank arms. I have a sprocket that I plan for this build. I'm going to use this sprocket for another build I have. And the pedals, I cleaned the rust off the end of there, and they're going on the other bike. Speaking of pedals, here are the pedals that I grabbed from Walmart. Snafu, metal pedals. Here is uh, the Black Ops stem that I grabbed off the bay. Here's the cool decals that I grabbed off from borrowbikes.com. These are really cool looking and they were a more simpler set than the other ones. Uh, easier to match up to a collar way. I figured I'd just, you know, paint the bike black and put these cool neon decals on there. Grab some fake AME grips or AME, however people say it. Some lime green cables to go with the lime green decal. And this was a chain that I grabbed off the bay uh, before I noticed and paid enough attention to the decal. It's too bright of yellow and the decal was actually a lime green. So I threw that on the mongoose which matches it perfect and took the chrome chain off the mongoose for this build. And here are a few teaser pics to show how the build is going and what it's going to look like. I'm still waiting on a couple more pieces and then it'll be done. So stay tuned for video two for the final build. Thanks for watching.